Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and today I'm going to be showing you how you use the split and repeat method. So here we are going to be splitting our first bracket and we're going to be repeating our second. Now, the reason that we are choosing the first bracket to split is because it has one, two terms. So we can split it exactly down the middle. So we have two X and we have minus three. But our second bracket has three terms, one, two, three, which means we can split it exactly in half. Therefore, we choose this bracket to repeat and the one with two terms we choose to split. So always choose one with two terms to split. If both your brackets have two terms, then it doesn't matter which one you split or repeat. But in this case, we have to split the first. So to show you what this looks like, we repeat out the second bracket twice. So we have four minus five X plus X squared. And we repeat it again, four minus five X plus X squared. And we split our first bracket. So we have two X in front of the first and minus three in front of the second. And all we have to do now is multiply. So we have two X by four, which is eight X. We have two X by minus five X, which is minus 10 X squared. Two X by plus X squared is plus two X cubed. And then minus three by plus four is minus 12. Minus three by minus five X is plus 15 X. And minus three by plus X squared is minus three X squared. And now what we can do is go through each of the terms and add up our like terms. So first of all, x cubed, there's only one of them. So we write that down, 2x cubed. Next, we will look at x squared. So we have minus 10x squared, and we also have minus 3x squared. So that gives us minus 13x squared. Now we'll look at our x's. So we have plus 8x, and plus 15x and this gives us plus 23x and we're left with our final term here minus 12 and we add that in so our final answer is 2x cubed minus 13x squared plus 23x minus 12 using the split and repeat method